The Gina and Maddie podcast. How are you with dreams? dreams? How do you do? You like talking about your dreams? Do you? Yeah. Do you remember your dreams? Yeah, some of them, and I don't know if they mean anything. Or apparently, aren't you just good at sort of categorizing what has happened that day? Your brain's just kind of putting everything in order. That's what a dream specialist once told us. Are you? You saw a dream specialist? No, someone rang. In. Oh, right. I was going to say, wow. You... <laughs> I didn't know she was a dream specialist. Okay. Actually, she might have just been because. I, it's one way to bore me in a conversation is to talk about your dreams. Oh my God. <laughs> Bella, my long suffering wife, loves to tell me about her dreams. Oh, what else is boring? Oh. Uh, and then I've even got in trouble for what I've done in one of her dreams. Oh, Oh, you know you were flirting. I was like, you know you were asleep (laughs) and that wasn't real. Uh, Oh, that happens Rod and I too. I woke up one time and my heart's pounding and I said someone was chasing me and you didn't even come and help. Oh, gosh. (laughs) What was he thinking while he was there lying peacefully and it wasn't really happening? God. Uh, But I did hear a story during the rounds a couple of days ago about Oscar winner Billie Eilish. Now, she told us story about a dream and then she acted on her dream a couple years ago i had a dream about christian bale and it was like in like a little cafe in the sunlight and and it made me realize i had to break up with my boyfriend (laughs) at the time no like genuinely i woke up and i was like (gasps) and it came to my senses it's over and she did she dreamt about christian bale the batman and (gasps) she broke up with the boyfriend because of that dream i know i know (laughs) Chicks, am I right, that's ladies? Weird. No, all right, oh, wrong room. Uh, but uh, I, but uh, no, I went, oh, that's kind of a cool dream story. And then uh, I was listening to the Smartless podcast, which is Jason Bateman, Will Arnett, and Sean Hayes. They interview celebrities. It's fantastic. Uh, it comes out every Tuesday, I think. And they were talking to Mark Ruffalo uh, a couple of weeks ago, and he told a story about one of his dreams. Uh, I couldn't play the audio from that because of the amount of swearing that's in it. So I found Mark Ruffalo talking about his dream somewhere else, and this actually blew my mind. I just had a, I had this crazy dream that I had a brain tumor. I just woke up and I, and I just knew that I had a brain tumor. There was no way that I didn't. And it was pretty crazy. And so I went to the doctor and they did the CAT scan. They're like, mm, you, you, have a, you have a mass behind your left ear and uh, you, you will need to get it removed. We don't know what it is exactly, but... Uh, you know, we think it's operable, and you just deal with it. You go on. <laughs> I'm fine now. I only, I only lost my hearing, so um, in, in one ear. Isn't that incredible? That's he dreamt incredible. that there was a brain tumor, and there was. That's crazy. Imagine, and also imagine walking into the doctor's surgery and going, yes. because yeah. you can't just go, hey, can I get a CAT scan? You're like, no. But if, you, if you're the Hulk, maybe you, you can pull some strings. Yeah. If you're part of the Avengers, maybe you can. But you're like, Doc, I just had a dream that I've got a brain tumour, um, can we check? And most doctors would be like, yeah, maybe let's just run, let's just yeah. have a conversation first. Yeah. But it turned out, and like, he's fine now. But, but that just... That is crazy. Incredible dream. So we've got Al on the line. Al, do you think you can keep Maddie interested or is he going to walk away? I'll keep him interested because there's a beautiful girl involved in this. Oh, okay, well, you've, <laughs> do tell. You've got me start, you started well, Al, you've started well. Yeah, I realised. I last night I had a dream, and it was actually last night. Funny you should mention all this, but um, I had a dream. This girl was known for a long time. Now I'm 69 this year, uh-huh. and um, this girl is um, she's probably about 35, yep. and she's a bit of a stunner. She's all right. I mean, she's she's good, and she's pulled me aside and told me she wanted to talk to me, and I said all right. So we she talked to me and said I want to marry you. And I said, I can't marry you. Like, geez, I said, oh, I'm thinking thin and funny in the dream, you know. And I can't marry you. I'm already married. I've been married for bloody 45 odd years, you know. <laughs> I said, oh. And anyway, everywhere I went, she was there stalking me like she was looking in the window of the car or oh. she was walking towards me when I was getting in a car. I was going out with my mates, getting in the back of this mini. <laughs> You lost me, Al. You lost me. Okay, let's go to Rebecca in Blue Haven. Wow. Rebecca, uh, you've, you've heard how it rolls. What have you got for me? I had a dream. It was actually yesterday morning. I don't know um, 
when I came to work and told everyone, they thought maybe it's more like a sleep paralysis thing. It's like... Um, no, you, you can see, you've got to start strong. You told me too much information before we even got to the dream. <laughs> Bryony in Bensville, can you save this, what we call in the industry, a phoner? Can you save this with um, a decent dream story? So mine was kind of a waking dream and I woke up, my dad was in hospital and I woke up at 3.09am um, with the jagged heart lines, you know, it's like on the monitors, they have the pulse rate and the heart rate and all yep. that sort of stuff, I don't know what they're called. Um, so these jagged lines for 15 minutes and it woke me up and I couldn't get it out of my mind and I stood up, I could just see these jagged lines. Anyway, so that day we were called in to say goodbye to him. I stayed with him that night and in the morning I said to the nurse, just out of curiosity, what time did he crash, like yesterday morning? Was it 3.09 a.m.? And so she went and had a look at her computer and she came back and she stuck her head around the corner and she went, you just gave me pills. And she pulled me out to have a look at the computer and she goes, look, this is 3.05 a.m.? And that's all normal. That's what his stats had been. This is three ten, and look at the jagged lines. <sighs> Briny, that <I> <laughs> is so spooky and an incredible dream. He pulled, he pulled through. Oh, oh my god! Thank god. god. Are you, oh, you needed to tell me that a little earlier. <laughs> Rolling Stones, and he pulled through. Hang on, so what? Wow. Put some music on in there? Yeah, yeah. He's a big Stones fan, so I played him his favourite songs all night and is... told him he's not allowed to leave us. That is... That's a great story. Such a beautiful story, Bryony. I the, the way that music can heal... And can, you know, we, we've seen it with um, patients that have Alzheimer's. Yeah, and, that's right. You know, yeah, playing we, some music can yeah. trigger back yes. memories. Oh, my gosh. Well, you've done it, Coasties. That was incredible. Thank you very much. Gina and Maddie. How, are you, how is your hearing? Like, being in the music biz forever, I'd imagine yeah. fold-back speakers, yeah. headphones, in studios, ears. in-ears. Yeah. How do, you, how do you think it is? I haven't had it tested in a while, Maddie. Okay, well... <laughs> Here comes a test that I found on Instagram, oh, so good. it must be legit. Okay, so it's been uh, this is a thirty second test created by the hearing health app Ear Gym. Asks you to hit the pause button when you can no longer hear the tone that's playing okay. in the background. Uh, basically, it uses a frequency to check to see if you are losing your hearing. An analysis of the test on their app shows that half of under thirty fives have an older hearing age. So I don't know if that oh. comes to do with headphones, earbuds, people yeah, playing music too yeah, loud. I know do, my yeah. hearing shot. Yeah. Um, I you, love that we're going to do this live on for, air. For, <laughs> you're going to tell me I'm 75 or something. <laughs> it's, uh, you're only as old as what you're hearing. Isn't that the saying? Okay. So I'm going to play it. Okay. Lots of I did. I, my hearing is terrible. Um, and I'm just going to point to you when I can't when hear When you can't anymore. hear anymore, I'll okay. pause it. Uh, this is live and dangerous. I'm playing this out of my Instagram DMs as well, which is also a little <laughs> dicey because uh, this is what I sent to Loz. But this is the best way. <laughs> for us okay. to do it. Okay, so All I'm right. going to press it. Um, it is going to be it is going to be a, a slightly unpleasant sound for a little bit, but play along uh, in the car and if you can't hear it, sort of yell out, pause! I won't be able to hear you, <laughs> but it'll feel like you're playing with us. Okay, here we go. Okay. If you can still hear that, your hearing age is 102, 99, 97, 96, 95, 93... You can still hear that. You've got a hearing edge of 85. If you're pausing now, your hearing edge is 80. Hearing edge of 70. 60. 52. I'm out. Right there, 48. Hearing edge of 48. <laughs> That's good. That's, That's good. not too bad. That's not too bad. I thought mine was going to be really bad, but yeah. mine, was, mine was still older. I was 41 with mine. Lozzie? You said you were 34. Oh, I was 34. No, 30. I was no, I was 34. No, actually, you said 32. You, you guys said you were in your 30s. But I was in my 30s. You know what? You know what? I you think two he didn't, absolutely fibbed to me. You two <laughs> didn't do it with people listening. I think both of you fibbed. <laughs> You, if you want to play along with this, check your hearing at home. Bexagram will pop this uh, little link in our Instagram stories uh, at star1045, at Gina and Maddie. Have a look. Have a play along. Do it at work instead of doing some stuff in the office today. I'm going to the doctor. The Gina and Maddie Podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcast.com.au.